in this driveway up here, you're gonna find a, a summing box that looks like this. One for each scale, there's three of them. One basically centered on each scale. And uh, you'll need one load cell wire from this, each one of these summing boxes back to the uh, computer panel. You leave about 15 feet at the computer panel. It's for the load cells. It basically takes all three signals and puts them into one signal to send them back to the uh, computer. Up on the aggregate batch and we have this box on here. And you need 20 wires, 18 gauge, going back to the computer. And then I need two F2 circuits going back to the high voltage and that's going to be the U6, V6, W6, U7, V7, W7. Those are the two circuits for the vibrators. We have upper vibrators and the lower vibrators in the sand bin. So these high voltage ones go to the high voltage panel. The 20 small wires go back to the computer. 18 gauge is fine on this, probably 14 gauge on these uh, high voltage wires here. We have a hookup right here on the flat belt motor. It's going to be, uh, usually we use 10 gauge wire and send this back to the high voltage cabinet. On the dust collector here, I have uh, this uh, little control box on the side. There's two wires come on out of it. I'd actually like three wires and you can send those back to the high voltage cabinet. Uh, 16 gauge is fine for those. And then we have a motor on the other side here. And normally we'd use 10 gauge on that, this three phase, and send it back to the high voltage cabinet as well. Here's our water meter here. We've pre-installed a cord on this. So I would like, uh, uh, basically I need uh, four wires back to the computer panel. Uh, 18 gauge is fine. And then we have our butterfly valve and right here and we've installed a pigtail on this for you. This is two wires and it goes back to the computer panel. There we have the incline belt head pulley motor. It's gonna be four wires. Normally you'd use probably eight gauge on those and send them back to the high voltage panel. This is the motor on the cement weigh tub right there. And that's gonna to go to the high voltage panel. Normally we'd use uh, 10 gauge wires on that. And then stepping back, we have, you can barely see it there, but there's another auger for the fly ash air. That's going to require uh, four 10 gauge wires back to the high voltage panel. And way at the tippy top of each silo, we have a vibrator. Uh, three phase, goes to high voltage cabinet, it shakes the filters. 18 gauge wires, fine, 18.4. It's, uh, we have one on the top of that in the bag house, one on the top of this one in the bag house. It's under the plastic lid that goes back to the high voltage cabinet. Don't forget to run a circuit up to the top of the silos for silo lights. I have some silo lights for you, they're just not in yet. The silo lights uh, that are not in yet are single phase 120 volt, and those will run back to your single phase panel. There'll be uh, really four of them. Here we have your, your aeration, and we have your concrete cement. This one here is your fly ash. And we've installed these pigtails on them. Each of these is two, two wires inside, each main gauge is fine, and they go back to your computer control panel. Up here we have your load cell summoning box with a cement scale. It's gonna take load cell cable and go back to the computer with it. And moving over here, we have the other five We've installed a pigtail on it for you. It takes two wires and it goes back to your computer panel. 18 gauge is fine. The high voltage panel right here. Here's where the computer panel will sit right here. Be sure to leave about 15 feet at least of wire coming up here. A lot of times the guys will do a junction box or something right inside here. Two foot by two foot by eight inch or, or 16 by 16 or even 10 by 10. And then run a piece of flex into our computer panel. It's pretty common. Load, you usually want to get your loader as close as you can. I consider putting some haunches on this wall. Maybe something over to these legs or pillars or legs. And setting a piece of spancrete in here so when your loader comes up you can drive further forward you can top off his bins a little bit better that would be a good idea you put these ports in here for your admixture guys if they're not going to use any of the, you know some of the ports unused please plug them they're one inch ports 